Welcome to Jet Recaps. Today I will show you a historical movie from 2003, titled The Sleeping Dictionary. The first scene opens up as John Truscott arrives at Sarawak. He is sent to Sarawak as UK's colonial representative. He meets his boss, Henry Bullard. Henry wonders why a young man like him would come to Sarawak. Truscott tells Henry, that he is at Sarawak to actualize his father's dream. His late father who was a district officer had drew a plan. A plan to bring civilization to the Iban people. On hearing this, Henry makes a mockery of his plans. He believes the Sarawaks will soon knock out Truscott's enthusiasm. The next day, Truscott is taken to the local longhouse. He is introduced to the locals and their headman, Malacca. A beautiful woman offers him rice wine. He rejects it saying that he is not allowed to drink on duty. The Lansai, Malacca's son, tells him to accept it. Because in their custom, to refuse a drink is an insult. Now Truscott has no choice but to accept the rice wine. The Sarawaks organize an entertainment program in the evening. Drunk, he is drawn to that same beautiful woman as she dances. She wears him a neck bead. He is instructed to make a payment by reciting a poem or do a dance. He recites a poem and then a dance which leaves the people laughing hard. The next morning, an angry Truscott argues with Henry, for letting him make a fool of himself in front of the villagers. Truscott argues that he is there to educate and not entertain them. Meanwhile, the beautiful woman he had seen the previous night approaches them. Henry introduces her as Salima, he says Salima will be Truscott's sleeping dictionary. Her duty is to sleep with him and teach him the Iban language. Truscott finds it absurd. But Henry tells him, it is the custom of the Iban people. But Truscott disagrees to have her as his sleeping dictionary. To their annoyance, he asks if Salima would rather only be a dictionary. Not happy about it but Salima accepts. The next day, Truscott have a rough day with the Iban people. They make jest of him as they deliberately defies his order. The day goes worse and he has a fight with Salima. They later reconcile and Salima teaches him the language. He starts getting attracted to her as she teaches him. The other day, at the long house, he has an argument with Balansai over the English education. Balansai believes the Iban people don't need it. To prove his point, he challenges Balansai for an underwater battle and wins it with the help of an oxygen tank. Now Balansai is curious to know how he did that. Truscott explains him the wonders of the English education. On one study night, romance ensues between him and Salima. They enjoy series of love-making sessions together afterwards. On her last day as his sleeping dictionary, Truscott tells her to stay with him in his room from now on. But she tells him of an Iban tradition that disallows it. The next day, Henry invites Truscott over to his home for dinner, to introduce his daughter, Cecilia. Cecilia has just finished her degree in anthropology. At the table, they discuss the sleeping dictionary custom of the Iban. The custom is to help the duty officers learn the Iban language quickly. Henry adds that it's a taboo to fall in love with a sleeping dictionary. But Truscott disagrees to it. The next day, Cecilia hangs out with Truscott at the longhouse. She takes photographs of the locals. Whereas, Truscott tries to settle a land dispute between two locals. While still at the longhouse, a boat is seen. The occupants are a dead man and a dying woman. From her study, Cecilia recognizes the tribe through their bracelet. She says they are from the Yakata tribe. After this, Henry informs them of more dead bodies which had turned up. Truscott plans on going up to the river find out the cause. He decides to take Salima along as she can speak the language. Later that day, Cecilia's mother, Aggie comes up to him. She tries to hook him up with Cecilia. In return, she promises to help him start a school for the Iban people. But he feels undecided about her proposal. In the morning, they head out to the Yakata tribe. They are shocked at the number of dead bodies they see. Nearby, they discover an ongoing mining operation carried out by the Europeans. Truscott soon discovers that the Yakata tribe has been poisoned by them. They had poisoned the rice, which was consumed by the Yakatas. Their intention was to get rid of the Yakatas, and take over their mining areas. On getting the facts clear now, he decides to expose the European intentions to the Yakatas. On reaching there, he encounters a sick Salima, and confesses his feelings for her. She tells him that their love is impossible as it comes with oppositions. But he assures her that he will sort it out. Back at Sarawak, he tells Henry of his intentions to marry Salima. Henry won't hear of it as he threatens and swears at Truscott. In the longhouse, Salima is forced to give Truscott up. Or else, 
he will be charged with the murder of the Europeans at Yakata. Henry leaves John with two options. Either to choose one year's sick leave, or ten years of imprisonment. Back in London, Truscott gets married to Cecilia a year later. He writes a letter to Henry and informs him of his decision to return to Sarawak. He wishes to continue his father's plan to civilize the locals. Returning to Sarawak, Cecilia gets worried. She notices Truscott's desires for Salima still persisting. One day at the lake, Truscott sees Salima with a baby. Seeing the child, he believes that it's his baby. His former chef confirms him as the father. He agrees to arrange a meeting for Truscott to meet Salima. Salima walks in unaware only to meet Truscott. On meeting her, he begs to see his son. Reluctantly, she agrees and he meets his son Mondar. Salima tells him, that Mondar belongs to Balansai now. He married her despite knowing that she is pregnant. The other day, Cecilia's mother walks in on him. She tells him her reason for staying with Henry wasn't out of duty. But she was scared of allowing him go back to his sleeping dictionary. She warns Truscott that she won't let him abandon her daughter. On the other hand, Neville, a British officer with drinking problems, is jealous of Truscott. He despises him for winning Cecilia over. So when he sees Truscott spending time with Salima, he informs Balansai about it. On hearing this, Balansai sneaks in at night to kill Truscott but fails. The next morning Henry has a conversation with Truscott. He tells him Balansai will be executed for trying to harm a colonial officer. He also reveals to Truscott that Salima is his daughter a daughter born by his sleeping dictionary. On the trial day, Truscott questions Balansai. Despite Salima's plea, Truscott is left with no choice and sentences him to death by hanging. That night before Balansai's execution, Salima tries to break him out. But she is surprised to see Truscott letting him escape. Truscott asks Salima to escape with him. They plan on meeting at the dock to take a boat the next evening. Now, Salima has no place to stay, as the longhouse turned against her she is forced to become Neville's sleeping dictionary. Meanwhile, on returning home, John is shocked to hear Cecilia's pregnancy news, as he had already made plans to escape with Salima that night. On the other hand, before heading for the dock, Salima bashes Neville's head. In the next scene, Cecilia walks in on Truscott writing her a goodbye letter. She has no choice but to let him go to Salima. Salima gets to the dock but unfortunately, Truscott wasn't there. She decides to leave by boat but she gets caught by Henry. Scared, she will be killed, he bids her goodbye instead. On getting to the dock, Truscott is informed that Salima has left. But with the help of the Yakata tribe, he searches for her. He finally finds her, but they get into a trouble. Neville had busted on them and threatens to kill them. The movie comes to an end as the Yakata tribe rescues them from Neville and takes them in. If you enjoyed this recap, kindly like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Do let us know what you think about the movie in the comment section below. Enjoy other movie explanations on our channel. Thanks for watching.